Hello everybody. It's Tuesday, August the 26th. Make sure that's correct. August 26, 2008. And uh, currently there's a hurricane. Right now I think it's a Category 1. It's south of Cuba and it's called Gustav. I was on the internet uh, checking the current track of that storm and they predicted that it would probably go to a Category 3 or Category 4. I even heard uh, one weather forecaster say that it's possible that it could be a Category 5. Which takes me back to uh, Florida. I spent four years in Florida between the years of uh, 1956 to 1960 and we didn't have a hurricane the whole time I was down there which is unusual. When I was at West Palm Beach in uh, 1956 we had a warning of a hurricane and I know we were tracking it but that's why I decided to do this video it was almost impossible to track a hurricane in 1956. Uh, a lot of it was guesswork, of course not all of it, but the Hurricane Forecasting Center has gotten really accurate on forecasting the track of a hurricane. Now Hurricane Gustav is scheduled to go into the Gulf of Mexico and if it goes south of Cuba and doesn't go over a, a land mass and over warm waters, there's a possible chance that Gustav could become a Category 4. And if it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, the current track that I saw on uh, the Internet, it looks like uh, Florida may uh, not be hit by Gustav but it's going in the direction of Texas and Louisiana and if it veers back to the east it could go maybe into the panhandle of Florida. I'm not making any predictions. I like to track those hurricanes. It's one of the most phenomenal acts of nature as far as weather's concerned. And I have always uh, liked to track the hurricanes. And with a new computer system that the Weather Service has now, it's a lot easier to track these hurricanes. So who knows where Gustav is going. I don't want to make any predictions because uh, I don't want to predict or something that destructive is going to make landfall. But if Gustav becomes a Category 4 or a Category 5 hurricane, it could develop into one of the worst hurricanes that we've had in a while. Right now here in the mountains of North Carolina and Tennessee, we're experiencing the rain from the tropical storm that failed to become a hurricane. Hello? Sorry about that. I didn't want to cut my camera off. But hurricanes are it's it's phenomenal how much power and energy is created by a hurricane. Let's hope that Kustoff does not... Oh well, yeah, by the way, that was a phone call and I, I could have kept the camera going, but you would not be interested in that phone call. Let's hope that Gustav does not become a five, a Category 5 storm because the present track, if it took it into some of the areas that have been devastated in the past by hurricanes, it could be a catastrophic thing. 
I like to track hurricanes, but uh, it's a part of life if you live in the coastal area. It's just a, a natural occurrence of the weather this part of the year. So anyway, let's hope that that hurricane does not create a lot of damage. And I'll come back and check this uh, video after Gustav makes landfall, which it's going to do. I just hope that there's a probably a quirk of nature that will decrease it to maybe a Category 1. But it looks like it's going to come ashore at least a Category 3. But we'll see, and let's hope that, uh, that it goes into a, a non-populated area. Well, I was just uh, watching the news and checking the Internet on the hurricanes, and we're right in the height, or starting into the height of the hurricane season. And this could be the start of an active season for the rest of the season, but only time will tell. Well, thank you very much for listening. We'll see you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.